My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? Uh, so I am editing this episode of the Cashmere Thoughts podcast, and they've got a, a guest on this episode. And what I'm going to show you here is how I use uh, sidechain compression to duck the music when they're speaking. So when using sidechain compression for mixing, a lot of times you want to use it to duck the bass with the kick drum. So when the kick drum hits, the bass will duck a little bit or come down and compress a little bit. I'm using the same idea here with uh, the music, the background music for the podcast and the voices here. So well, first I'm going to show you how to set it up. So I'm going to copy my compression settings here so I can quickly get back to it. We'll remove this compressor. Uh, we're just going to remove those sins. So yeah, the first thing that you want to do to set this up is we're going to add a compressor. We're going to add a compressor onto the music track. I'm going to paste my settings back in. And what I'm going to do is, and these settings are just a little extreme, so you'll hear in the example, and then I'll set it to something more of uh, what I actually have it here while I'm doing the editing, or once I'm finished doing the editing. But we're going to select the side chain here, and from there we're going to go to our sends. And I've got these three tracks grouped. We're going to go under side chains here and we're going to choose the compressor. So that's going to set the send for all three of the voice tracks here and we're just going to set these to zero. So I want the full send level here going into the compressor. So again what's going to happen here is while they're speaking that is going to trigger the compression and bring down uh, the music a little bit, uh, the background music that you are hearing. Uh, the background music here is produced by uh, Ms. She Did It Again. And uh, you can check her out on Instagram at Ms. She Did It Again. Uh, you can check out the Cashmere Thoughts Podcast at Cashmere Thoughts Podcast on Instagram. All right, so I'm going to play this. And just for the settings here, I've got an 8 to 1 ratio. I want a little more heavy handed compression here. I left the knee alone, set automatic attack and release. The threshold I pulled down to. Uh, negative 28 dB just so you can really hear it pull down here and then again I'm going to set it back to uh, what I had it at which I believe was negative 18. Uh, so here is with the uh, compressor in I'm going to play it and then I'm going to bypass it here just so you can hear the effect of when they're speaking how it's ducking and when it's not. Here we go. Right. So me going through throughout my life, I guess that's I did the same thing. I, I wanted to be a football player first. Mm -hmm. Did the music thing, and then that, after those things and paying out, mm -hmm. I was lost, man. Okay, I ain't know what to do. So this book was really therapeutic for me. Okay, because it allowed me to uh, talk about the principles that I use to develop the manhood that I have today versus society's base, man. Okay. Now, I do want to say I'm glad you did not do the music thing. Right. <laughs> because you, as a, as a music fan, you don't have Biggie in your top five. Oh, man, no. So that's, I mean, that's terrible. But <laughs> wait, wait, let's, let, let, let's get back to your book, baby. So what, what, what inspired you to write this book, man? Uh, I woke up one day, and I didn't know who I was. I wasn't the man that I wanted my sons to be, and I, I wasn't the type of man that I wanted my daughters to date. Okay. So I had to kind of change that's that. Deep, right? Okay, so you can hear there with me bringing in and out the compression. You can hear the music uh, getting louder there. So I'm using the side chain compression. So as they're speaking or even if they speak louder, it's just going to push that background music down just a little bit. This example here is a little more extreme. Again, uh, to take it to something that I would use or more of a setting that I would use here. So we'll set it around negative 18. And let's listen to that back now. All right. So... Me going through throughout my life, I guess that's I did the same thing. I, I wanted to be a football player first. Mm -hmm. Did the music thing, and then that, after those things and paying out, mm -hmm. I was lost, man. Okay, I ain't know what to do. So this book was really therapeutic for me. Okay, because it allowed me to uh, talk about the principles that I use to develop the manhood that I have today versus society's base, man. Okay. 
Now, I do want to say I'm glad you did not do the music thing. Right. <laughs> because you as a as a music fan, you don't have Biggie in your top five. Oh, man, no. So that's, I mean, that's terrible. But <laughs> anyway, let's, 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 let's get back to your book, baby. So what, what, what inspired you to write this book, man? Uh, I woke up one day, and I didn't know who I was. I wasn't the man that I wanted my sons to be, and I, I wasn't the type of man that I wanted my daughters to date. Okay. So I had to kind of change that. That's deep right there. See what I'm saying? Okay, so there at negative 18, it's a lot more subtle, uh, but it's giving me what I want. And there's, you know, there's parts in the podcast here where they get louder. And watching my gain reduction here, I'm getting about uh, just just a little over 3 dB gain reduction. And that's about all I want. Well, once they start to get louder, then, yeah, that may push down to 5 or 6 dB. But just for a general level here, for what you heard uh, if from this point here, you know, just a 3 dB compression here when they're speaking. It's just going to push that background music down a little bit. Uh, so there's a quick tip for you for uh, podcast editing, uh, how to use a compressor to uh, sidechain your music for ducking in Studio One. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, let me know. Uh, like I said, uh, be sure to follow uh, Miss She Did It Again and the Cashmere Thoughts podcast on Instagram. And uh, I'll catch you all next time.